Hello, everyone. My name is Yang Song. I'm a graduate student from College William Mary. In this video, I will demonstrate B, a tool for structuring and analyzing bug reports. B is an open source GitHub application that can analyze user written issues in GitHub repositories and provide feedback about the information given in the bug reports. Now, let's talk about B's main features. B detects the type of the issue, that is, the issue can be classified as a bug or enhancement or question. This can help developers prioritize and manage the problems. B can also alert reporters about missing elements in bug reports. The first element is the system observed behavior. It could also be called unexpected behavior. We refer to it as OB. The second one is the system expected behavior. We refer to it as EB. The third one is the step to reproduce the bug. We refer to it as S2R. B can also help developers understand and assess the quality of bug descriptions. B implements a set of machine learning models to detect the type of sentences and structures bug descriptions by labeling the sentences that describe the OB, EB, and SOR. B also supports researchers on automated bug management. B provides a public web API for OB, EB, and SOR sentence identification. This can be useful for research on bug reproduction, bug localization, and bug report quality assessment, and so on. Now let's go ahead to see how B works. This is an example of a bug report. This bug report is from the Eclipse software system. In this case, you can see because this issue is a bug report, B added the bug label to this issue. If the bug report doesn't provide observed behavior, expected behavior, or step to reproduce, B makes a comment about it and prompting the user to provide information in the bug report. If any of the elements are missing, this issue is sent to the reporter and B adds an info needed label to the issue, which indicates the information is needed. Finally, B structured bug description by identifying which sentence describes observed behavior, expected behavior, or steps reduced. And B assigns a label and appends a label to each one of the sentences according to what they describe. This helps developers easily identify these elements in the bug reports. Now let's look at another example. Uh, this issue is taken from this project. Now I'm gonna submit this issue. As you can see, in this case, B identifies the issue as a question. Indeed, the, the reporter was asking some question. Because the issue is not a bug report, B will not further analyze this issue. Now, let's look at the next example. Uh, this issue is from the Docker software system. Uh, as you can see, the big difference of this bug report from the previous one is that this issue contains a code block. So in the second comment, B labels the code block with one of the types of elements like OB, EB, and S2R. In this case, in this case it's OB. This is because B treats each code block as a single piece of text. Now let's look at the last example. B can analyze any bug report in any format for any software system. In this case, this issue contains all the three elements observed behavior, expect behavior, and step to reproduce, and the format is using GitHub Markdown. After we submit the issue, you can see B assigns a bug label and indicates the bug report appears to be complete, and also structure the bug description. As you can see, the format of this bug report is preserved. As I mentioned before, B provides a public API that researchers can use for automated bug management. They can send API requests containing any piece of text. Now let me show you how to use this API. We set post as a request method 
and this is the API URL and we input our bug report as a request body and then we send the API request to B. As you can see, B returns a list of sentences. Each one is tagged as the OB, EB, or S2R. Now the tool is available on GitHub. You can easily install it on your repositories. That's it. Thanks for watching.